And as people everywhere are looking back on the Capitol insurrection, ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline sat down with a political science professor. They discussed the lessons we can take into the future from that difficult day. I remember it like it was yesterday, unfortunately. In the year since the 2021 Capitol insurrection, U.S. Representative Kathy Castor says one thought has brought her comfort. America is resilient and strong. The insurrection uh, was not successful. But even a year later, events across the Bay Area show that there's still a divide when it comes to people's perception of that day and what led up to it. Peter. P-E-T-E-R, Bergerson. Bergerson, a political science professor at Florida Gulf Coast University, says close elections have a tendency to raise concerns about the voting process. In 1960, the election of president between President Kennedy and Vice President uh, Richard Nixon uh, was also a very contentious election, as as the election of 2000 was, that it was very contentious. But he adds that 2020 was different because in this case, the runner-up didn't accept their loss, even after their claims of fraud were proven false. And he says that this is key in preventing another event like what we saw a year ago. Well, the number one lesson I think would be for the uh, losing party, regardless of whether it's a Republican or a Democrat, uh, to come together and be united. And when it comes to concerns about the voting process, Bergerson says supervisors of elections will have to do more to educate people on how they run elections and on the accuracy of past ballot counts. More focus on, the, at least here in Florida, on the role of the 67 supervisors of elections. In Tampa, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.